Hi, my name is Steve Taylor. I'm Head of the Computational Biology Research Group at the Weatherall Institute of Molecular Medicine and also the Chief Scientific Officer of Sagami. Today I want to show you uh, a collection of uh, paintings that are from the Ashmolean Museum. Um, we can see here these are all very uh, detailed. They've got nice history associated with them. Um, we can also look at these on a group level. Um, but one of the nice things we can do is if we do some extra processing on these it means we can start analysing general trends. So for example um, we've looked at the red, green and blue colour components um, in the particular each image and we've stored that so each um, image has a foreground red, blue and green average red, foreground red, blue and green respectively the HSV um, vectors associated with them. And what this allows us to do is we can look to see um, different trends. So we can plot these, say the foreground red versus the foreground green. Um, and then we can say we look at the far edge of that and we tend to get the different shades of colour we can look at. So you can see that this is a very this is the red end of the spectrum looking on this particular graph if we look across here we can look at the blue end of the spectrum and so this allows you to actually start selecting the images based on colour and other things you could do here using the uh, Zagami's plugin technology you could add face recognition in for example and the other thing we've done with this particular um, set of data is we've added in keywords where we've actually annotated these using uh, an external uh, machine learning application so it will try and identify um, various features so for example let's look at all the pictures with apples in them yep that's done pretty pretty good on on that um, some things it doesn't do quite so good at um, so for example if we were looking at maybe celebration what's that now again you could say that was very similar to um, the images we saw before and that might not be quite as useful but with the Zagami's annotation capabilities we can say these are all um, say groups of flowers or still life so let's see of flowers and then in the tags we'd see that was annotated there and that isn't a group of flower so we would probably get rid of those I don't know whether we get rid of that that's one flower not a flower in sight there so again this will refine our particular tags what we want to look at and you can see we've excluded different ones there so you can see it's a really good way of clearing up your data and actually um, building up data sets if you want to build up very good examples of ground truth data for machine learning. Okay, that's all for that particular demonstration. Thanks.